So you're gonna need a good wrench. An adjustable wrench is gonna give you the exact fit for your lawnmower type. Now, if you have a full set of box wrenches, by all means, use the box wrench that fits the exact size of the bolt and it's gonna be a lot less trouble for you. Also, highly recommend a good pair of safety goggles because we're going to be going under the tractor once we get it elevated. Ultimately, is what you want is a pair of automotive ramps, the kind you would use to change your oil, but what I have here is a couple of cinder blocks and I've lined them up to where this middle part of the cinder block are lined up with the middle of the tires of my tractor. Also, I want you to notice that I've made the holes vertical because there's more strength in the cinder block this way as opposed to this way. Go ahead and lay your wood ramps in place, ready to back the tractor up onto it. Now, once you get the tractor on the ramps, you want to make sure that you keep it in reverse. Otherwise, if it's in neutral, you'll roll right back down. But we're going to take another safety precaution. So what you want to do before you start reaching under your tractor is to chalk it to make sure if for some reason the tractor slips out of gear, you still have these cinder blocks here as a safety device. After you get your work area set up with the cardboard, the tool, and the replacement blades, you're going to access the blades from the deflector shield area, but before you do that, you need to make sure you pull that deflector shield up so it's not in your way and you're not fighting it the whole time you're doing the project. is I'm loosening the bolt by spinning this blade axle. And you want to install it with the sticker up. So this side's a little more tricky, but is what you want to do is wedge this side up so you can get under there and boy there's a lot of uses for a coffee can painting and whatnot but in this case I'm using it to wedge up this baffle so I can get to the blade easier okay so that is the star shaped spindle that you're going to attach the blade to and I want to show you that so you know what it looks like I've got it illuminated here so you can see it but that is going to fit exactly on the blade fitting as you can see that fits exactly on that blade and that's what keeps it from spinning out of control and staying true when it's on the tractor and you're cutting grass You want to get it hand tight while you have the blade pressed into the star bolt spindle. And again, once that's done, you're going to fit your wrench. And of course now we're going the opposite direction to get it tight. And again, I'm keeping the wrench still and I'm using the blade of the lawnmower itself to rotate. And as you're doing that, you're tightening that bolt down. Once you have the blades installed, you're all ready to go. And of course, on a nice spring day, it really feels good to be able to help your dad out. He asked me to come and help him change his blades. We got it done, pretty lick chop, and made a how-to video. And Here's my dad getting down 
on his lawnmower. Thank you.